Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nine Niggas Knowing TV. Today, we've got a bit of a treat for y'all. Today, we're going to be doing a machete slash sword collection, amalgamation, accumulation review. All right, guys, let's get into this. We're going to start from right to left, okay, guys? Just like how you read Arabic. To start... This is the $5 Walmart machete. We've done a review on this. If you guys tuned into our 4th of July uh, episode, you guys are going to recognize this piece here. So, let's take a look at what's under the hood, shall we? Yeah, it's got some use, as you guys can see that. I have tried to put this thing through its paces. Now, guys, this is $5 at Walmart. First modification you're going to want to do is to get the uh, handle nice and wrapped. That's what I did. It was coming a little loose, a little because you can see it's like a bit of a clamshell design. Uh, you can see the seam there is kind of splitting as you use it. A little bit of duct tape, never hurt nobody. You can hear it rattling a little, listen. Yeah, so a little bit of duct tape is gonna go a long way. Um, surprisingly, this thing has stood up pretty well. I beat this thing into a, a wooden plank and yeah, no no rolls in the blade, no chipping, very, very minor bending, if any. Um, so yeah, really, for $5, this is kind of a steal. I'm extremely shocked that this thing, you know, functions. It comes with this sheath, very, very bad. It's a floppy sheath. This is not good. It's not what you want, guys. All right, well, that's the Walmart... The Walmart blade, the, wa the sword of Walmart, guys. Um, let's move on. Next piece. Here we have the Gerber Gator. This is the long version. Uh, there's a short version as well. I'll show you guys in just a minute. That's my newest purchase. Let's take a look at this thing. First of all, right off the bat, you can tell the tip is a little bit fucked. Okay. Um, basically, what happened is I was using this and the tip snapped off. So, not the most sturdy design. I had to take an angle grinder to it and try to form you know formulate craft a new tip. Uh, it kind of worked, kind of didn't. That's all right. Um, the sawtooth design here on the back doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, the saw you know points, spikes, whatever you want to call them, the tines even. Um, they're a little bit too big, I think, to be practically useful. Uh, but it works. It's light, lightweight. Fantastic grip. This is one of the best grips ever. My only, my major complaint is that this is not full tang. So the blade comes down here to about here. It's fastened in with these screws, and that's it. It does not go all the way down to the handle. So that really sucks. That is the biggest downside to this piece. But, um... Not too expensive if you're going to use it, you know, for light, light use, not super heavy duty use. Then I would say it's not a bad, bad, uh, bad choice. Next, also in the Gerber line, the Parang Machete, the Bear Grill Special. I got this for $4 on sale at Home Depot, guys. You guys will never believe it. Um, this one has had some wear and tear on it. Um, as you can see, there's some Rust-Oleum on there. I tried to paint it up when I was like 14. So yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> it didn't do a great job. But, um, but yeah, it's got a good grip. It's kind of pretty well balanced. Not the sharpest blade ever, guys. I'm not going to lie, not the sharpest blade. But it's very thick, very sturdy. This will hold up to abuse. Um, and it's a fantastic chopper. Yeah, that's what I got to say about that one. Next, Machete. This is also from Walmart. I don't remember the brand. UST, I think that's whatever Walmart's brand is. This is a little special. This piece is a little funky. You guys probably won't be seeing this coming. Okay, so, looks like a normal machete. Bit of a short blade. Um, short blade machete, not atrocious. But as you notice, there's a little bit of a contraption here on the side. What is this, you might wonder. Now, guys, I'm going to demonstrate for y'all what this is. Just give me a second. Um. All 
to show you guys what this is. Just bear with me. Bear with me, please. I'm begging you, please bear with me. Please. Guys, nice. okay. Yeah, okay. Kinda. Okay. All right, guys, keep in mind that this this tank is almost empty, all right? Um, normally the flame would be a little bit more aggressive than this, but this is just to give you a good idea of what this is. I don't know if you guys have ever played Dying Light. That was the inspiration for this build. I basically took an old blowtorch head, um, gave an extension tube, ran it down towards the, uh, the valve here, and you attach a can of propane to the end, and now you have a flaming blade. Isn't that sick? It's from Dying Light, guys. The only issue is, I'm using these really big, full camping gas tanks. Um, ideally, I would want to use, like, the little stovetop cans, the smaller ones. But, I didn't have those at the time. And second, I don't have the right valve for it, so I just work with, you know, what I got. Um, but yeah, it's, it's NBD. You can just, yeah, there you go. Flaming Blade. Alright, guys, next on the list. Oh, y'all niggas have heard about this one, though. I know y'all have. I know y'all niggas have heard of this one. The Camillus Carnivore X. Um, a lot of people have negative reviews about this. They say it's not very sharp. It's very brittle. Um, kind of unbalanced. Now, I don't know if I have a different version than what other people had. But mine is actually pretty pretty sturdy. I do like it. Uh, immediately, you're going to have to wrap the grit because the grip it comes with is super slippery. It will slip out of your hands. So you're going to need an extra grip on it. It feels very sturdy. It's a great chopper. Um, the saw teeth back here are actually pretty sharp, so this could actually be used. Um, yeah, it is, it is brittle though. It's very, it's a very hard, it's very hard. It's not a, a soft steel whatsoever. It's titanium bonded, okay guys? So that means it's going to be super strong, but also super brittle. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of hefty. It's well balanced. The grip shape is nice. The ergonomics are, are very well done. Um... Blade is not the sharpest, all right? I will admit, it's not the sharpest, but it's a very nice machete to have. All right, next piece. All right, you guys met his bigger brother earlier. This is the Gator Shorty version. Let's compare. We're gonna compare to the full size and see what's what. To tabletop review of this. Yeah, so as you can see, they have the same grip, but the blade is different. Um, you know, what this is about like almost twice as long blade length. Um, but yeah, this is shorter, it's handier. It's the newest addition to my machete collection. I do like it. I have to say, I do like it. The grip is really nice combined. The nice long grip combined with the uh, short blade, very controllable. It's a decent machete. I got it for 20 bucks, guys. And next up, this is my favorite machete. This is the, my favorite one that I have. I got this on Amazon for $30. Check this out. Look at this, huh? It's called a tomahawk. I don't know why. It's a machete. It's not a tomahawk. But hey, it is what it is. The grip is very atrocious. Um, when it first arrived, I mean, the wood is nice. The color is very nice, very shiny, well-oiled, nice red wood that pops. And the blade is full tang. You can see here, um, very hard steel. Uh, but the grip, the problem is with the grip is that it was very, very, uh, boxy. It had a lot of edges on it. So when you gripped it and you hit something, it hurt your hand like crazy. So I had to sand down the corners and then I wrapped it with tape because it was a small grip too. So. Yeah, I just wish the grip was a little bigger, a little bit better with the ergonomics. But other than that, it's a really nice blade. I like that you got a nice large belly on the blade here. Almost somewhat kind of like a kukri. Not really. Um, same concept, I think. 
Uh, and you would be remiss for thinking that this edge is sharpened, but it is not, unfortunately. But it's very pointy. It's very sharp. Um, yeah, great machete. I like it. All right, moving on. Another Walmart piece. This is Ozark Trail. This is not a machete, it's a Bowie knife, but it's still really cool. Uh, full tang. Mine has a crack in the grip there, in the handle, in the scales. Not very nice, but it doesn't seem to cause, you know, too many problems. And there's a bit of a gap here between the scales and the blade. So the fitment of the scales could have been a little better, but that's all right. Um, you have a brass guard here, very nice. It is a pretty sharp, pretty sharp machete, uh, Bowie knife. Um, again, this this edge is not sharpened. Very pointy, very sturdy, uh, well balanced. It's a great piece. All right, moving on to the crazier, more wall hanger esque stuff, but I still have it. Check this, out. this is really cool. Uh, as you can see, I tried to sharpen it. It is it was kind of a wall hanger. I sharpened it a little bit. Um, it's, it's pretty hefty, so that, that'll help. It's not super sharp, but it's sharp enough to combine with the heft. Uh, grip is nice. This is from Turkey. Purchased from Turkey. Very sharp point. Um, yeah, guys, this is lit. Not too much to say about it. It was really, it was really never meant to be used. Um, but, you know, y'all niggas know me, and you know I'd be utilitarian. You know I'd be trying to make useless stuff into useful stuff so i tried my best here i had to add some extra glue and epoxy to the pummel and the uh, the guard here because it was kind of loose so i did that um again as you can see fitment is not great that is a bit of an issue but other than that it works if it works it works now we're gonna check this this thing out this is a bit crazy this here is an antique sword. I highly, highly doubt that this was ever, you know, supposed to be used as a combat uh, implement. Uh, I believe it is more of a, a display piece, a cavalry saber. It was a little longer. I chopped the blade down because it was super front heavy and it was like, it hurt your wrist to hold it. Chopped that down, a lot more manageable now. And it's, it got even pointier tip because the tip it came with uh, was extremely, extremely dull. Um, it was rounded, essentially. Rounder than a spoon. So I, I tried my best to sharpen it up. Uh, and again, it's hefty. So the heft combined with the uh, the moderate <laughs> sharpening job that I did with an angle grinder, the hack job that I did, it'll get the job done. It's got a nice, big hand guard there. Um, heavy. As you can see, I had to wrap the grip in tape because it was very uncomfortable. And this thing... It's, I mean, it is what it is, guys. You can't really complain. And last, but certainly not least, another wall hanger. But again, we try to turn useless stuff into useful stuff. So, it's a katana. It's not a real katana, um, but it's modeled after one. Not very sharp. It's sharp enough, but... It's 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 not razor sharp. You're not going to be splitting hairs with this thing anytime soon. The guard fell off um, because it's, it was never meant to be used. And once you start swinging it around and hitting stuff with it, it gets very loose. So I had to remove the guard because it was too loose on here. The grip wrap came all undone. The pommel came undone. This thing is very old, by the way. This is like 20, not 20 years, maybe like 15 years old. This is a really old, you know, thing that we've had for a while. Um, I tried my best to fix it up. But yeah, it's it's pretty well balanced to, you know, for a wall hanger. Uh, kind of lightweight, two-handed grip. You guys can really get, you know, some nice reach with it. All right, guys. That was it. That was my machete review 2022. Drop in the comments below your favorite machete. And also let me know what sorts of blades you guys have in your closets at home. Uh, catch you on the flip side. See you in the next vid. Uh, nigga out.